What time is it, Brooke? Time to move, baby. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock at night, it's dinner time, and we have gotten 30 minutes on the road. At this rate, we'll get there not soon. At 7 a.m. 7 a.m.? Right? No? No, 7 p.m. I'm trying to yawn for like 10 minutes, or yeah, wow. <laughs> and I'm trying everything, I'm trying sauerkraut. <laughs> On the verge. It's like I've been yawning 15 or so times the hour, every hour. Not successful yawns? No, no, they're very successful yawns. And now I just like stop. I have blue yawn. <laughs> Do I hold my breath? <laughs> hold it. <laughs> so we have made it to Eugene, Oregon. This has been I think the most grueling past 24 hours. No, the spa. This, at least there's some adventure and new things to look at. I think what's hard is that I'm running on like an hour and a half of sleep, but we are really, really close to our friend Isaac's house. House. He lives in a bus. His bus and his shop. And we're almost going to see our bus. And I'm so excited to see this because the last time I saw the bus and looked like a turd, I haven't seen what it looks like since. But right now, we do have to pay Isaac. So Brandon came up with this brilliant idea. He prefer he wanted to give it to him in cash in a bag. So we're stopping at the thrift store. So we will see what type of bag we find. I'm really hoping we find a briefcase. Carrying your bag while your seatbelt's on. Because yeah, he's gonna like show up at the gate. All right, so this is the first time I'm seeing the bus not being yellow like I left it, and it looks amazing. Brandon did such a nice job painting it. Ow! Here's all the fabric that I picked out. It is on the seats looking fiery. Now we have the kitchen. I can walk in here and stand. It's incredible. We have our pantry. <laughs> <laughs> the closet. Your girl requested this specifically. We have our table, a little shoe shelf. Welcome to the shred sled. What's up, you guys? So right now we are here in the middle of Oregon, and there's a bunch of fires. There's a lot of sanding happening here in the bus. We are on a tight timeline, so we gotta keep working really hard. <laughs> People, you look like a. Look at, look at Brandon. Okay, yeah, ran over. Brandon's a buzz, look at the dirt on it. <laughs> Today is our third day at Isaac's. I wanted to show you guys how we shower here at Isaac's. What happens is that Isaac has built this little like shower holder. And then what we have going on is thing that it ignites the propane and then you have a heated shower here in the middle of the shop. Yes, it's a very open shower. Cat, no, no, don't rub on me. We usually don't take showers in the morning, but today I felt like I really needed one. There's a lot of smoke in the air right now, and we're nine miles away from one of the wildfires. It's hard to take deep breaths, and now Brandon and I are gonna put, Brandon's putting lights on the bus on the inside to give us that like mood lighting, but then we have to plan for the tour in about 13 days. We are leaving Isaac's place, and we're taking the bus to the mechanic. We had a little bit of a late start this morning, but all of the mirrors and everything are back on. We have collected all of our goods and we are ready to head out. So we made it three minutes out of Eugene and the bus is breaking down. It's like every time I try and turn it on, and run with it, it goes less and less. We left the, the mechanic and now we're having more problems than when we were when we arrived there. I don't mean stereotype, but I did have some pretty sketchy homeless woman with a broken arm and a bunch of cuts all over her <laughs> say she's looking for a ride. And I was like, hey, um, shit's up. All right, squad, so right as, I'm, uh, <laughs> right as I'm talking about the homeless lady that was over there, Brooke rolls up. <laughs> so does the homeless lady, and she was like, Hey bro, you got any cannabis? I really hope she didn't hear that because here's the thing. I do not want to leave the bus here and I definitely don't want to leave the bus here now that there's a whole squad of people over here. Looking for a ride. Looking for a ride in cannabis. I'm like, eh, this is not the place to be. We literally might have to we sleep might have the to, bus We might have to at sleep this here. sketchy bus stop and we don't have a lock on the front door. <sighs> Everything's good. 
Ken just showed up, our mechanic. Thank God. Our man, brother. Yeah. <laughs> what, what is that, man? That's what runs the injectors on this side. Oh, so it's only around half the size. Yeah, and that'll cause them to fall out. I know nothing about buses. We'll see. <laughs> Woo! We are on the road and the bus is rolling. I'm stoked. I'm in the car, Brandon's in the bus, and we're heading to Salem. And then from Salem, we're heading to Seattle. A hay truck just went in front of Brandon and all of the windows in the bus are open and I cannot imagine what is going on in there right now. Rocky start, but we made it. My favorite hill. I need to build one of these in Los Angeles. Ten o'clock at night and the rain is coming. Kid and I are out here taking the tape off and Brandon is at Home Depot getting paint. We wanted to do like a sick reveal where we take the tape off, but we're really chasing the elements right now. They're chasing us. Yeah, they're chasing us. <laughs> Boom, what's up? So hey, we are starting our Beyond the Board long board tour. This weekend, August 13th in Seattle, we're gonna be making our way down Portland, San Francisco, Salt Lake, Phoenix, and then ending in Los Angeles. Every week is gonna be a new adventure. And yeah, make sure you guys are following Going Beyond the Board on Instagram for updates. And, and you all are invited. So please come hang out with us when you see the bus. Don't feel, don't feel shy, show up and come on in. And if you have any badass recommendations on the way any of those places, feel free to hit us up. Woo! Woo! <laughs>